Am I the asshole? For leaving my nine-year-old half-brother home alone? Hi. So. I live with my dad, stepmom, and my half-brother. For weeks it was planned that this past Friday night my dad and stepmom were going to her parents' 40th wedding anniversary at some fancy-ass restaurant. Me and my brother weren't invited cause we're not adults. Since I didn't get an invitation and didn't wanna be stuck at home with just my brother I decided to make plans myself and me and my BF were to go on a date. My dad and stepmom wanted me to babysit my brother but like they've never paid me for babysitting him ever and he's pretty hyperactive so no thanks. After complaining for a bit they hired a babysitter for him. So Friday comes around and I'm doing my hair makeup and all that getting ready for the date. My dad and stepmom had already left for the dinner. While I was getting ready I get a call from my stepmom in the car on the way to the restaurant saying that the babysitter cancelled and that I'd have to stay home and watch him. I told her I was sorry but I had plans I didn't want to cancel. She said it was too late to call anyone and I had to stay. I said I can't and that I'd be at home for another 40-ish minutes which would be enough time for them to come back home and they have to be back then to watch him. She just hung up. Well I finished getting ready and even waited another 15 minutes and they weren't back yet. I texted them I was leaving and left my brother home alone. We live in a nice neighborhood and I'm pretty sure I stayed home alone when I was 10 so I was sure it'd be fine, especially since they didn't bother to come back home. Anyways long story short when I came back home they were already home and my stepmom was pissed that I left my brother home alone. She called me irresponsible and said I didn't care about family etc. She also told me I'd have to pay for this vase my brother broke. I feel this is unreasonable since I gave them a warning I was leaving and they had the opportunity to come back but I'd... Ida? Oh and just to add in case people are wondering if I paid rent or whatever my grandmother gifted the house to my mom dad as a wedding gift. When my mom left my dad she gave him the house under the condition I could live there up until I finished grad school if I wanted to. Edit should have added that I only get free housing not because they choose to but because of a contract my dad signed that he's forced to comply with. Everything else I pay for myself. And I make my own food clean up my messes. I should have said so in the post instead of commenting it. Oh yeah and in case it wasn't clear in the post I have babysat him plenty of times before. Info did the babysitter actually cancel, or did they never book one in the first place? Not the asshole. You told him you wouldn't watch him. When the babysitter cancelled ultimately it's their responsibility to come home not you. They are the parents. I've got a fiver that says they never arranged a babysitter and planned the emergency last minute cancellation call the whole time. I think not the asshole because they manipulated the situation. But I also think that you living there until finishing grad school isn't a viable option. What happens to the divorce settlement if you decide the living situation is untenable? Going to go against the grain you didn't technically leave the 9 year old at home, they did. They took a bad bet and it failed. They should have come home instead of trying to strong arm you into it. You gave them several warnings and waited and waited and waited. Oh and they never hired that babysitter. You were lied to. X200B. Not the asshole but you do suck a little bit but you were in between a rock and a hard place, you just didn't make the best call. I can't wrap my head around OP not invited to the restaurant because she's not an adult at 19. Also, there was never a sitter. Nta. Not the asshole. The parents are taking off as free babysitter. She refused to babysit, they trapped her. She even told them and waited for them to come back but they were stuck on forcing her to stay with stepbrother. She imposed her boundaries and now I doubt they'll try to pull that one again. OP you can set a price table for babysitting SB, and make sure to charge more for last minute requests unless it's an emergency obviously. See what you should have done was left the house before them so that if anything came up as it did you would not be home and could not be responsible for anything. You're just lucky the Goblin King didn't show up and steal your half-brother away to become a goblin, forcing you to make your way through the labyrinth to rescue him. I have a feeling that if you ask tell me the name and contact info of the babysitter, you're going to be met with a lot of resistance I'm suggesting that there maybe wasn't a babysitter to begin with. Not the asshole either way. You said you weren't going to do it well in advance of the day. They knew this. While he is your brother, he is their son. Your stepmom calling and saying you have to stay was wrong. And from your tone I imagine this isn't the only time they ask you to sacrifice for family. Can you talk to your actual mom about this? All these stories have a broken vase. Do am I the asshole? Trolls get their material from 80s sitcoms? I call BS on the parents. Who leaves before the sitter arrives? They usually want an introduction instructions. I'm going with not the asshole for op.
Info Did your brother have access to a phone and know what to do in case of emergency break-in? Fire, injury those sorts of things? Did he have access to food he didn't have to cook leftover pizza, cereal, dinner of any kind? Was he scared of being alone? How long would be have been alone and until what time if your parents were not home before you? Not the asshole. He's nine and unless he's special needs, he should be able to be left alone for a couple hours. Honestly, it sounds like your parents didn't schedule a babysitter then lied to you to force you to stay home because it seems like a stretch that the babysitter cancelled once they had already left. Honestly who wants to bet there was never a babysitter to begin with? I would say ESH. He's a nine-year-old child and he shouldn't be left alone. But anyone else think that there was no babysitter to begin with and the stepmom planned this to try and get them to stay at home and babysit? Not the asshole. I was staying home alone for an hour or so at age 8. It was fine. Also it's the parents' responsibility to arrange a babysitter or come back. I'm doubtful they actually arranged one based on your comments. They were counting on you to not leave. It backfired. You told them. I feel old. In my day, 9 years old was old enough to stay alone. Your SM and dad are the ah. Uh, their kid, they need to figure it out. And I wonder if they had a sitter. Not the asshole. At first, I was like dude, he's 9. IDGAF if the neighborhood is safe however. The parents knew the babysitter cancelled, knew OP had plans, and OP even informed them that no matter what, she was still going out. She even waited additional time for them to get home. They chose to go to the restaurant when said 9 year old is their responsibility, not tops. Had it been a case where the babysitter never showed up and the parents didn't know that, then OP would be the ah. Uh, why didn't your dad watch his son, so his wife could be there for her parents' party, his daughter could keep her plans and he is being there for his 9-year-old son? I don't like that you left a 9-year-old hyperactive child home alone and think that was a very poor choice. But the parents of the child should have been the ones to ensure his supervision and safety. Not the asshole, I really don't get people saying that was on you to take care of him. It would have been nice of you not to let him alone but it was clearly your parents responsible and if anyone should have been sent to jail should anything happens would be your parents who left their own child in the hands of someone who clearly refused multiple times to be involved in this. Sorry but not the asshole. Your stepmom had 40 minutes to get home. You should have called the cops though and reported her for abandonment. Why should you have to cancel your plans for your stepmom? Not the asshole your parents left him alone, not you. Double not the a hole when you explained about the housing arrangement. That's just sad. Nobody cared for the nine yo boy. Not the asshole. I think outsourcing childcare duties onto a sibling is kind of shit parenting. While leaving him home alone wasn't the best judgment call on either your part or your stepmom's part, you seem to have made it abundantly clear you weren't available that evening. It's also beyond idiotic that she's holding you accountable for something her own child broke after she failed to arrange babysitting services. ESH. At the point in which the babysitter cancelled, your dad and stepmom should have come home to take responsibility for their child. 110. They are the biggest odds in this scenario. However, you left a 9-year-old child on their own, which is really shitty on your part, too. Especially given you're 19. You're an adult, not a child and you should know better than to leave a 9-year-old on their own. There is no excuse for that. It is your poor brother I feel sorry for. Not the asshole not your child, not your responsibility. A babysitter cancelling is the parent's problem. It's not okay for them to just assume you'll drop everything you're doing to watch their kid. A soft white here though, because it's not okay to leave a 9 year old home alone. I probably would have packed him up and dropped him off him at the anniversary party. But I'm an asshole so, woman shrugging. Info how long was your brother left alone for? It's difficult for me to judge. If this doesn't happen often and they just really needed your help then you're the asshole. If this is typical for them and they are constantly taking advantage of you for free babysitting then not the asshole. He's also at an age where he can start staying home alone for a few hours. They just need to prepare him in the house before they do. I'm going to just say I wouldn't leave a child that age home alone when they aren't used to staying alone no matter the circumstances. ESH ESH Parents should absolutely not have done that to you. But also, you ultimately were put in a position and made the decision to be selfish and leave him alone here. You should never have been put in this situation, but you were, and you let your brother down. I'm not saying you're a bad person for doing it, as you may have not thought it through in the moment and the anger. 
but it was definitely a dirty decision. Best case on you part that I can imagine is staying at home and having a stern conversation with his parents leaving him like that. But it seems like a sticky situation all around. ESH. You are all very selfish and you are an adult, start behaving like one. Even though they are not correct in this situation, you can't control their actions, but you can control your own. You left a nine-year-old alone at night, anything could have gone wrong.